Holle, Umalek, Lotchi und Kobo. USA now have a new chief executive officer, CEO, Mr. Bernard Fominka, aka Nkemtembo, who was elected during the Kudu USA convention, which took place on Saturday, July 27, 2024. We are here in Maryland, in Bowie Village Hall, uh, the former uh, the BLM Cultural Center for the Kudu Cultural Week, and we started yesterday, July 26. And today is Saturday, July 27. Bernard Formica is a cultural icon, well known to the public, especially among the BLM community, as the most simple guy. In most community events, Ben Formica would be at the center of the drum during traditional dance. <laughs> How did he rise to the position of the president and CEO of the Kudu USA, an organization of all time in Libya, a community organization that has multiple projects and programs going on throughout the year? mentioned this is the Bank Cultural Weekend starting today, Friday, the 26th of July, up to the 28th. And uh, one key important item that will take place or on the agenda of this convention is the election of the new executive and right here we have uh, Nkemtembo uh, aka uh, uh, Bernard Ben Fominka uh, who has put on his character to run for the CEO. Nkem, why do you decide to volunteer? You are right doctor. Uh, at the time in the actual, I received calls from our vulnerable leaders that this position I can serve the bank people. So that is why I just put on put up my candidacy in the entire minute as you mentioned. Yeah. Bernard Fomika is the son of His Royal Highness Chief Fomika, probably due to his cultural skill in promoting Liberian culture. He was crowned income and notable to Chief Fominka. Ben Fomika is very athletic and has served the Bank and Liberian community in the U.S. for many years and in his own word, he has never missed a single Kudu USA convention. I'm a community server. I am a traditional mm -hmm. icon in this community. We have done a lot uh, in the Kudu since I got here in 2005. I've been an active participating member of the Kudu USA. Not to even mention the Kudu WDC that I have served in there and in any capacity. In Kem Tembo is a cultural icon. But how will he manage a giant organization like the Kudu USA? Gaza Media has learned that he has been the BOT chair during the caretaker committee and was able to manage some of the crises that was going on during that period. One other advantage is that his father and the entire family have rallied behind him. The Minka people are very united and supportive of one another. And Chief Fominka has even pledged to the bank people that he will make sure Nkemtembo succeed. Yeah. 
I deliver for the bank. So God give a few talk of war. As I am going to arrange him, Mr. General Satan. And we are going to go to the bank. And we are going to go to the bank. And we are going to go to the bank. And we are going to go to the bank. And we are going to go to the bank. And we are going to go to the bank. In terms of his network, the fact that you see him in every single community and private event speak well of how connected he is. The Awen and the incoming ESCO were both happy without any finger pointing towards the end of the convention. The two chiefs his Royal Highness G. M. Fungo, on behalf of Terence Atem, the Awen CEO, and Chief Fominka from Kemtumbo, the incoming CEO, share the same aspiration and pledge to support their children. All of you, He will serve and not to be served. Enes Kumba for Gaza Media. <laughs>